curious to notice the effect the food had on them. Yeah, many a time I've always getting me dead. Yeah, me too. No, I mean to go, I stood on the bridge, looking at the water. And I saw water the bag I was struggling. I put it hand here, but how am I going to get on the revolver? <laughs> As the hot tea soaked in, they talked more about themselves. My wife and kiddies died a long time ago. I had one son left to owe me with some business, and uh, then... The thing happened. Yeah. My lad died of smallpox. Then I went down with the fever and went in hospital for three months. Yeah. I was done for. I came out weak, no son to help me, no more business and not a farthing to my name. I had no chance to start again. My friends were all poor and they couldn't help. I've tried to work with them putting up the stands for the first coronation parade. No, no work for you. No, you're not needed. Got nothing for you. No. no. I was born in the army. My father served 22 years. My brother was a troop sergeant major. Got killed in India after the mutiny. After nine years under Roberts in Egypt, the other ended up lost. I never did the army. So here I was, stuck on this planet. <laughs> I'm fit for the anatomist. <laughs> That's all. I'm wasting away. I'm actually, I'm wasting away for want of food. Seven years of bliss I had. A good missus and three bonny lasses. But they all died. The scarlet fever took them all. All inside a fortnight. A matter of fact. We're lucky, you know. One in six will die. I've been three months in hospital. I did three and a half, and I'm wrong with it. How long have you been out? Uh, two weeks. Oh, I've been out three. It's ruined my face. Nah, not too bad. Though both their faces were badly pitted from the smallpox. Yeah, look at this. I still got them smallpox seeds working out through my fingers. Just make you wince. <laughs> he worked out to see my edification, popping right out of his flesh into the air. I hoped it hadn't popped on me. It's that smallpox that is the cause of my being on the dots. I was working when I was hit with it, and I come out of the hospital broke with nothing but the tires on this didn't work. As she talked to him, he reached forward, <clears throat> caught hold of one stray wisp of air that was flying and wild, and deftly tucked it behind her ear. Properly behind her ear. From all of which, one may conclude many things. He liked her well enough to be neat and tidy. He was proud of her, standing in the spike line, and wanted her to look well in the eyes of the other unfortunates. <laughs> but underlying all this is the sturdy affection he bore her. Man will not bother his head over neatness and tidiness in a woman for whom he does not care, nor is he likely to be proud of such a, nor is he likely to be proud of such a woman. I question why, I should find, why they should find themselves seeking a porker's lodging and ask what they thought I, as a green board, might expect to earn if I went down to Kent to go hopping. Well, that all depends. Plenty of people are too slow and make a failure of it. You have to try to be quick with your fingers. Yeah, yeah, very quick with your fingers. We can do very well at it. We've worked one bit between us yeah. and don't sleep. <laughs> We've been doing it for years. Yeah. My mate has went down last year. And he'd been down there a month, but uh, he still made two pounds a shilling out of it. Yeah, you see, he was quick. Oh, he was just naturally born to it. Yeah. There are moments when I'm thankful I was not naturally just... When I was not naturally just, just naturally... <laughs> just naturally born to it. If you ain't got tins and cooking things, then you, all you'll get is bread and cheese. That bloody good, that. You've got to have hot tea and vegetables and a bit of meat now and again if you're going to do any yeah. work as is. I'll, I'll touch them out. Will they bother now? Oh, no. No bloody fear. This is the easiest spike going. You ought to see some of them. Search to the skin. Mind you, the superintendent here is always writing to the papers about us mugs. He says we're no good. They are a group of blackguards and scoundrels who simply will not work. Tell, tells all the old tricks in the book I've been hearing for years, but still I've never seen a bloke do. Upon departure from the charity of the casual ward, 
Some men have actually been known to steal pieces of bread. Upon spying an affluent gentleman approaching, these rogues will throw the crust into a drain and ask to borrow the gentleman's stick to retrieve it. By this deceit, they sometimes manage to acquire a further sixpence. Talk of the country being good for food, I'd like to see it. I just come up from uh, Dover and precious little Tommy I got. They wouldn't give you a drink of water, they won't. Much less Tommy. There's mugs now we go out of Kent, and they live, they live blooming fat along. Many hours passed before I fell asleep. It was only seven at the, in the evening, and the shrill voices of children and playing the street continued until nearly midnight. <laughs> The smell was sickening, and my skin crept and crawled until I was nearly frantic. <laughs> <laughs> Grunting, groaning, and snoring arose like sounds emitted by a sea. <laughs> They pass over, pass by, spit at them and stuff. Right. <coughs> I'll go down the far end. Oh. <laughs> 